Hey everyone, so we splurged last night. We paid $18.95 at the LCBO, whoops. But it's okay, today we're gonna drink it and I'm just gonna suggest this for the holidays. It would be great as a gift or for a dinner party and perfect for any of you that are big old red wine lover. This is Conciotoro's Winemaker Lot 2018 Carmenere. So this wine unfortunately is exclusively available in Canada, sorry anybody in the US, um, but it is perfect for the holidays and really just anytime you're jonesing for some grilled red meat and good vino. So here's what you need to know. Carmenere is technically a Bordeaux varietal, but let's just call this what it is. Carmenere is a Chilean grape because Chile has Carmenere in the bag. So Carmenere really needs a long, warm growing season like they have in Chile. It hates to be cold and it needs that heat to get delicious. Um, in Rapel Valley, namely Puemo and Cachapoel, where this wine is from, is extra perfect because this desert area also has the Puemo River that swims through the vineyards and keeps the nights very cool, also ensuring that the grapes are kept in check and not turning into these alcoholic little free jam bombs. The fact that this wine is even from Puemo is also quite impressive because really almost any wine that's super premium in Carmenere from Chile is from Puemo. So you know we're getting a good deal. Next, Carmenere might be the only red wine that you can have with spicy food. This is huge. Like I've been asked this a million times, what wine do you pair with spicy food? And almost any time I'm gonna recommend an off dry white, especially with like an Asian or Latino dish that's packing some heat. But Carmenere is totally up to the job. Carmenere is plush with soft tannins and also has this sort of spicy jalapeno um, soy sauce component to it, which ugh, guys, Carmenere is just such a perfect damn good food wine. So why do we like this wine? Well, in the glass, it's very true to form. It's medium to full bodied. It's got plush, velvety tannins, flavor notes like blueberries, plum, a little bit of fig, and this woodsy kind of campfire element to it, which I think makes it perfect to be sipping in front of a beautiful fire with a nice aromatic Christmas tree nearby, just saying, or like with an herby holiday family feast. If it's not at the holidays, just have it with some grilled red meat and spicy chimichurri. On that note, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Kate Sips More on YouTube and follow me on Instagram, Kate S. More, to stay on top of all my sommelier-approved wines for under 15 or 20 bucks. Happy sipping.